Hey everybody. Today we're doing some more integrals involving inverse trigonometric functions. Here are the two most important formulas to remember whenever you're doing integrals involving inverse trig. Integral dx over the square root of 1 minus x squared is the arc sine of x plus c, and the integral of dx over 1 plus x squared is the arc tangent of x plus c. There are integral formulas involving the other four inverse trig functions, but they're used less often, and we usually just look them up if we need them. Frequently we run into some very similar but not identical integrals. Things of the form integral dx over the square root of a squared minus x squared, and integral of dx over a squared plus x squared, where a is just some constant, typically taken to be a positive constant. And we can deal with these by factoring out the a squared from the denominator and then applying a u substitution to get us to a place where we can use one of the formulas at the top of this slide. For instance, let's do this with the first formula, integral dx over the square root of a squared minus x squared. I pull the a squared out of the denominator. When I pull it out of the radical, the square root of that a squared becomes a. So here I really am using the fact that a is greater than zero. And then I can deal with that x over a just using a u substitution, u equals x over a. Remember, a is just a constant here. Um, when I carry out that u substitution, the result is that this integral is the inverse sine of x over a plus c. Similarly, we could do the same thing for the arctangent one. In that case, we get 1 over a times the inverse tangent of x over a plus c. These integration formulas are both standard, and you don't need to do the u substitution every time. However, as we'll see in the examples, it's still a technique worth remembering. All right, let's do some problems. Here's the three that we're going to do. Number one, integral 5 over the square root of 6 minus 2x squared dx. Right off the bat, I suspect that this is going to be an arc sine. I see something kind of like 1 over the radical, 1 minus x squared, just the constants are a little bit off. So our job is going to be to fix that. First of all, I don't really want that 2 in front of the x squared, so I'm going to factor that out. I'm going to pull the 2 out of the entire radical, and when it comes out of the radical, it's just a square root of 2. While I'm at it, I'm going to factor that 5 out of the numerator. So I've got 5 over the square root of 2 integral 1 over the square root of 3 minus x squared dx. I'm not going to bother rationalizing the denominator. That's a pretty antiquated technique that I don't generally bother with. Now I'm ready to use that arc sine formula. Here, a is the square root of 3. You shouldn't panic over the fact that that is not a perfect square. 3 is, in fact, the square root of 3 squared. That's all we need here. Applying that formula, I get 5 over the square root of 2, sine inverse of x over the square root of 3, all plus c. Problem 2. Integral x over 25 plus x to the fourth dx. Okay, so this does look um, a little different than either of the formulas that we had earlier in this lecture. In particular, notice that there's an x to the fourth in the denominator, not an x squared. If that were an x squared there, um, and there were no x in the numerator, this would be a tangent formula. So the u substitution, u equals x squared, is going to help us out. With u equals x squared, the denominator is going to be 25 plus u squared. Um, and as we'll see, the x in the numerator is going to cancel. So now that I've got my u, I differentiate, treat the du dx like a fraction and solve for dx, and then plug back in or um, substitute back into my integral. So I get the integral of x over 25 plus u squared times du over 2x, and simplifying it slightly, I get one half the integral du over 25 plus u squared. This is literally the arctangent formula. So I get one half times one fifth arctangent u over 5 plus c, and then simplifying the one half times one fifth as one tenth, and taking out the u and putting in x squared, I get my answer. Problem three, sine inverse of x over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So this is a different sort of u substitution. This time I notice that the derivative of that inverse sine is actually a factor in the integrand. So the substitution u equals sine inverse of x is going to be helpful. Let's see how that works. I take the derivative of both sides and solve for dx. dx is the square root of 1 minus x squared times du. Substituting back into my original integral, 
you'll see that those um, factors of the square root of 1 minus x squared cancel. And I'm just left with the integral of u du. So 1 half u squared plus c, otherwise known as 1 half times the arc sine of x squared plus c.